If you are trying to multiply how much gold or gems that you have, the, the masteries, gosh, I can't even click on the right thing. The masteries are so good. They're so good. Because everyone you, if you just, just playing the game now, get you stuff so much faster. So I have so much stuff now that if I get any more of these rare, epic, or legendary wild cards, they will literally be canceled out and turned into regular cards. And I've got all these books. Isn't that incredible? From the, uh, I've been saving up. And so that's, I'm going to be spending a whole lot today. And starting with the emote shop, I saw this earlier. This is kind of one that I, one that I kind of like. So I'll be getting that one. I don't know where I'm going to fit it. I, I really like my emote deck right now. Uh, I think he could probably be replaced. I like I like the, the pig emote where the prince turns into the pig, but I don't know. <laughs> the electro wizard may, may uh, take the prize. But check this out. We've got a level 12 princess here. And I believe we can max it. We got 200,000 gold. Three wild cards. 75,000 coins to level 13. And then look at this. 20, I need 20 princesses. So you could either collect, you could go wild cards, or you could go book of legendaries. I got that for December last year. For December season, I can't remember what the theme was. But look at that. 100,000 gold. Oh my gosh. We just got a max princess. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? So if we go to... Okay, this is just a duplicate. Um... If we organize it by level, if we organize it by level, and then we scroll down here, look at this. The first card that I maxed out was Zap, then Fireball, Minions, Pekka, and Princess. So check that out. We got five cards max. That's a pretty big achievement. And all I have to do now is I just need 100,000 more gold. The Tesla can be maxed. Bowler, that was another card that I was going to do today. So I have um, I have 50 wild cards for the bowler. I, I neglected the bowler just because it was good for all little swarms, but no longer. There we go. So we got our bowler ready to be maxed because I also have an epic book of cards waiting for whenever that's done. So, man, that is just incredibly satisfying. I'm really proud of that. So, uh, and now I can actually collect this. I had so many epic wild cards that I couldn't even accept five more. So let's get, wow. I, I still, I still need to spend some more. Well, what what have we got here? Please, a new one. I would appreciate that. No, I guess that's okay. I mean, it's a legendary, but... So, I think I'm going to hop into some natural games, because I, I really don't care for mere battle, and 2v2 is eh. But I, I, I just don't really care for it. I don't think there's much special about it, I suppose. What is he going to play? But that, that's really exciting. I'm really proud of that. We got Max Pekka and Max Princess on the same account. That is, that's a huge achievement to me because I've been using this deck for quite a long time. We'll plan to Tesla though. Someone actually using the bowler. It seems like nobody uses the bowler. Thank you for the value. 
Wow, this guy's really determined for that magic archer to work. Not quite. Is he gonna get a hit in? Okay, good. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I don't know what he'll have. That probably won't make it to the tower. Yeah, that's not going to. But he probably just had a miniature heart attack. A level 14 pack of going straight for his tower. Guards at the bridge. That's what we'll do. I need to upgrade my guards too. They're only level 10. Really sad. Yeah, that just didn't work out so well, did it, pal? Poor soul. That's my favorite combo right there. I love Pekka and and Bowler together. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> he planted it right into the bowler. That was good. Okay, we're going to go bowler here. Then the princes. To take care of the bats. So I know he's going to place them down. Come on. No. You got me, but it didn't work. No, okay, at least she's targeted. No! Magic Archer's only doing him harm in this game. It's just giving me fireball value, is what it is. Dude, what are you doing? That didn't work out too well. Why do you keep on doing the same mistake over and over again? It's, it's like letting me rocket a Sparky. The level 14 princess doesn't die to a bowler. That is wonderful. Look at this. Did I lock both those barrels? Okay, that's good. There we go. Flex with our new emote. Yeah, you cry. Well, that was satisfying. It's so good to have um, a level 14 princess and a level 14 Pekka. I just, I can't get over how proud I am of that. Gosh, let me out. We'll go in for another match. This is the Ecstatis placement right here itself. Skeletons? That worked out just fine, didn't it? Oh, I don't like that. That's a little bit too too much for my liking. 
Can I sneak in a hit? That'd be wonderful. Oh! Can I sneak in lots of hits? That'd be even better. Oh! Oh, that was so satisfying. He just let the Pekka walk right up to the wizard and take him down. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, please. Back away. If he puts down a hog rider right now, I might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh no! Okay. If we can put him in his place, I'll be very happy. Level 14 fireball kills level 13 wizard. <laughs> Fire spirit just dies instantly. This massive push for 62 health. I'm gonna kill that tower anyways. They're just kind of protect that princess. Oh! I figured he tried to juke me out there. No princess for you. Oh, you should have done more hog riders. You probably could have gotten me. Probably could have. A new mode came out in party mode, the Royal Delivery Drop, which is a game mode that I haven't ever seen before. It may have come out before, but we're going to be playing the usual deck against it, and I'll play a few matches of it. Typically, I really don't like these um, these games where they just cycle the troops, like the Elite Barbarians and different cards like that, just because I kind of find them as like unoriginal game modes. But I actually kind of like this one because they're not all in the same place. They're randomized, and they can just completely defend the enemy push. So good job to Supercell. I actually, I actually like this game mode. It's, I, I don't like it over Infinite and Elixir, but I still I still appreciate this game mode. I really wish I had that bowler right now for that witch. Oh gosh. We are slightly ahead of him. So hopefully he doesn't... Oh, that's going to be bad news for me. Oh gosh, no. No! Come on! Oh! How am I surviving right now? How did I survive that? With such little health taken out. Fireball, all that, get that away from me. I don't know how I'm alive right now. But I'm very glad that I am. And see, it's really hard for like skeletons to even get to the towers now because they just fall randomly. It's really fun, I think.
Oh gosh. He's gonna go golem on the other side now, isn't he? Oh! Bowler. Bowler's a really good card for this game mode because it counters the other, the other, uh, your opponent's royal deliveries really nicely. So bowler, minions is good. The only downside is if, like, oh, that minion, that minion on the left is really going there. The only downside is if your opponent's, like, level 14 and your level, like, way below them, like, four or five levels below them. Gosh, that was a scary game halfway through there. But, um, because the royal deliveries are, uh, their levels are determined by what level you are. So if you're, like, a level... Eight, someone can be level 13 or 14 and they can play against you and theirs will eliminate yours and they can just play with really low level cards that they don't normally play with to match up with people that they shouldn't be which is kind of annoying but that's just really how all party mode game modes are Throw the rock, please. Throw it. Very good. I don't know how good that really is. I mean, you you need to you need to start hurrying up your pace on that witch. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. One rock. Thank you. Did he mirror zap? I didn't realize that he placed one. I missed that, I missed that. And it's randomized, so see, uh, our, our royal recruits were set on opposite sides, which I think is actually a really fun addition, personally. Oh! That is scary. Okay, 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 okay. Have we got it? Have we got it? Have we got it? Okay, we've got it. But now he's ahead of me again. Okay. And they provide they provide really good. The royal recruits provide such good defense for princesses. I say as the princess gets killed. What lovely timing! But your princess can stay alive for a lot longer now that mine's level fourteen. Like even lower level logs can't take her down. I'm gonna try to start fireball cycling him down. I don't know why he just left. Why would you leave that P.E.K.K.A. unattended? Oh! The guards! Oh my gosh! At the last second! Oh, I didn't even- I was paying so much attention to the witch with the fireball. Oh, normally, normally they can't get through, but somehow they did. But this game was really fun. It, uh, you can't, you can't win every time. But uh, goodness, you can't win every time. But it's still a lot of fun, even if you lose. Just because if you get really late on in the game, there's like fifteen of them that fall out of the sky at once on both sides. So. I've never really seen anything like that before. Again, I don't, I don't know if um, if this game mode's been here before or not, but I, I really do like it because it's it's actually unique.
The other ones, they just spawn elite barbarians or fire spirits or wall breakers. And it's just the same every time, but with just a different troop, if that makes sense. That princess shall not last. Oh, the barbs. No, the barbs. Okay. The, they're they're really good for defense. They they came right when I needed them. Right there. Can I? I I can't. But I'll do that. I'll gladly do that. Oh, that's a bummer. He actually managed to counter my bowler. I missed everything. Oh, gosh. Okay, maybe, maybe that won't be so bad after all. We got a real winner here. He's got elite barbarians. What a classic. Why did he place like nine elixir for me to just instantly take? Oh! Oh, oh, they're getting hits. Please. I need fireball. I need it now perhaps more than ever in this match. Oh, the pigs. No, the pigs. Stay back. No. Okay, I think I'm going to dedicate Fireball specifically to chipping him down. Oh my gosh, did you see how many spawned? Like just casually a dozen of them falling from the sky. I figured whenever I first started, this is the first time... Um, whenever I first started my first round, whenever I looked at my first round, um, I figured they'd all fall down like in the exact same place, like in the back somewhere. But they've actually, they made it unique. They made it unique, which is good. Elite Barbarians I don't think are going to save you this time, pal. Watch me say that and just get crushed. Oh! That royal recruit landed right where he wanted at least, I'd say. Come on. Yup, you're done. I think I accidentally fired it. Whatever. Use my new emote right there. Isn't that nice? Okay, so... My general opinion of it, I think, is a really, really fun game mode. I hope to, I hope to see it again. Although I don't know if I will or not, uh, and if I do, it'll probably take like months to come back because I remember the totally unfair game mode that was really fun too, but I haven't seen it back yet. But yeah, I think it was it was a really, really good and unique game mode. So I hope you enjoyed that new game mode with me and uh, make sure to watch my other videos and click subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.